Hello and welcome to Cool Your Damn Jets. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the native company who makes uh, deodorant. Uh, so a while back I was looking for different deodorants and I was trying to find a deodorant that didn't contain... Uh, I think it's aluminum that is a problem sometimes. Um, anyway, I wanted to have something more natural and uh, I've tried a few things. I've made my own deodorant. Um, that worked okay for a while, but I was, I grew tired of making it myself. Uh, I tried another brand, which I don't remember and didn't work at all for me. Um, then I got native and I think their product is fine, but the company is complete nonsense and I'm going to explain why. So, um, let me show you the, their site. Uh, I'm already on their site here. That's native native cos native cos dot com. I don't know why it's plural, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Um, and then when you, you when you go there, you can see you know you buy coconut and vanilla deodorant and. Uh, you have a choice of making a one-time purchase or subscribe and save. Uh, since I'm going to probably use it uh, for quite a while, I decided to do the subscribe and save thing. And then you can uh, pick your frequency. But note, note here, one one month, two months, three months, four months. And that's it. That That's the whole list. I don't have any more options there. Um... Already that's a bit of a problem, but okay, you can pick four months or something. And then, you know, what I expect is that four months or a little bit before the next shipment, they send me an email and say, hey, you have the shipment coming. Do you want it? Do you want to delay it? What do you want to do with it? But they don't do that. You see, I'm used to the, the Amazon model where Amazon will do that. I, I do participate in subscribe and save on Amazon. And when there's a new shipment coming, they sent me an email a few days before and they asked me whether I want to delay some part of the shipment or not have the shipment at all or something like that. And I've, I've used it very often. Like there's stuff that, you know, I think I'm going to need in, the so on, in so many weeks, but it turns out that I don't need it. Uh, that so it should still come but it should be delayed and I thought that native would do the same thing but they don't do that at all first of all you saw the the, the options were really poor you had only uh, four options I then learned that you can go through the interface and try to fix things and put it a, a longer delay so I put it at six months uh, but in the end that's not satisfactory the, the problem for me is that they don't send me an email before they send the shipment and say, hey, do you want to change it? And once it's it's shipped, then it's shipped. It's it's your problem and you've paid them. I have here two boxes from them of native deodorant. Uh, because it happened twice that they just decided to send it to me without asking whether I really want it or not. They send it to you, they, they have you pay, and then... Um, and now I'm no longer their customer. So I have those these two boxes. I'm going to be good at least for another year. Um, but I'm no longer their customer. And it's possible, it is possible, that they've changed their ways after I decided to leave them because I left them a while ago. It's possible they decided to change their ways. But while I was their customer, it was... We're sending you stuff every so often and we don't ask you whether you want it or not. And I complain about that and the answers I got were pointless. Uh, you know, uh, oh, here's how you can change your frequency. I don't want to just change my frequency. I want you to, to tell me when you send me something so that I can say, I don't need it this month. I'm going to need it next month or in two months. Changing just changing the frequency is not enough. So I don't know if they learned their lessons. Unfortunately, I'm no longer a client, so I cannot tell you whether they send emails. I don't know if other people have complained. I don't know if their customers are just pushovers who like to have the company just send them stuff without uh, asking first. 
uh, but I'm no longer the customer. Uh, probably once my current stash of deodorant um, is used up, I'm gonna go online and try to find s something else than a native because I think the product is good. It works well for me, but I don't want to deal with them. You know, this is this is the the new reality. Like you produce a good product, but your your behavior as a company is so stinky that people don't want to deal with you. So I don't want to deal with them. So yeah, that was my story about uh, native. I'll see you in another episode.